Oh, oh sorry. God damn it. All right. All righty, welcome back, everybody. Today is a very special, special video. We have the one, the only, Substantial. Yeah. Uh, we talked a little bit before, but um, like I said, I used to listen to your music when I was in high school. Wow. So 2010, uh, my friend introduced me to Nujibes, and mm -hmm. I don't know, some tracks just stood, stood out for me. Like, obviously, Flowers is a super popular one. Yeah. Flowers. Anything with shingle on it was a hit. No doubt. And I was really attracted to your stuff too because I listened to a lot of music growing up. Um, a lot of underground hip hop I really liked. Right. Like Gangstar, uh, Jurassic Five, yeah, man. a dude Rest named Peace Diverse, uh, Atmosphere. Yeah. Um, and so you kind of fell into that category as well. Mm. And you know what's funny about gangs or uh, Jurassic Five is that I thought you and Charlie Tuna kind of had a similar yeah. Voice. Yeah, push up your hand in the air like this with me. Face to face and embrace your history. You know, with, I've definitely heard that, that a few times. That man. Deep, I mean, he's got you beat a little bit. With right. The, hey, oh, yeah, his is deeper <laughs> than mine. But yeah, so I think that's kind of why I like your music. And I also like the messages that you put out in your songs. Um, mm -hmm. I used to listen to Think Different oh, a man. lot. Appreciate it. Is the glass half full or half empty? It's based on your perspective, quite simply. For me, as a young kid, you know, listening to that, I think it kind of helped shape who I was, you know, about looking at things from a different perspective. Wow. I mean, you say all that right in the song. Yeah. So thank you. And I'm honored to I meet you it. and likewise man. share a day with you. Hey, but, man. Happy to be here, man. And I appreciate all the love, man. Thank of course. you. So uh, I got some questions. Sure. Let's go with where do we start? How did you I know you probably talked about it a million times, but how did you end up linking up with Nujabes and how did that whole relationship start? Did For sure. he reach out? Did you reach out? No, he, he reached out to me. Um, at that time, I wasn't familiar with him. Most people, I would say stateside, weren't really familiar with him yet. Right. This is like, when he hit me up, I think it was 99. Okay. Yeah, so, um, so it was 99 when he hit me up. And uh, yeah, man, um, he got my number through a homie I went to college with named Tomo, um, who also raps. He goes right. by Sphere of Influence. Um, was later signed to Def Jam Japan and all of that. And so we went to, we knew each other through college. You know what I mean? I went to school um, in Brooklyn, New York. I went uh -huh. to Pratt Institute. Um, and so we're both visual artists who were in school together. We both love rap and we rhyme together sometimes. Right. And basically, man, he, um, yo, he had uh, went home to Japan. He had this mixtape that, um, that I contributed to that was made by a homie of ours, uh, my man, Bisco Smith. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, man, he hit him up, uh, got a copy of the mixtape before he went back to um, before he went back to Tokyo. And while he was in Tokyo, he was working at a record shop. That record shop was Guinness Records, which is famously known for being owned by Nujibes. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah. So Nujibes asked him if he knew of any dope rappers in New York he should check out, and he was like, "Yo, you should check out my man Substantial," which wow. was crazy because you know I'm from Maryland, but yeah. I just happened to be living in New York. And uh, yeah, man, the rest is history. Um, he called me up, and um, because Tomo didn't hit me up in advance to let me know, <laughs> I, I thought it was a joke. Yeah. Because, you know, I heard this guy with a really thick accent who uh -huh. I didn't know talking about flying me to a foreign country. So you, haven't ever, so, you didn't hear any of his music before nah, that? Nah, I had never heard of him. Wow. Never heard his music. That's crazy. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't like, I mean, sure. And you just went with it, huh? You just decided. Well, uh, so what ended up happening was he basically asked me to send him a demo. Okay. Right, so he could hear more of my stuff because he had only heard the one thing from uh -huh. the mixtape. And um, so I basically, I sent him the same demo that I had been working on for Def Jam Records because I was in talk with an A&R there. Right. And um, things didn't work out with Def Jam, but I still had this demo. So I was like, yo, I'll just send it to Nujibes. You know what I mean? We can go this way. You want to go this way? Yeah, this way is cool. All right, cool. Have you um, been down this way? Uh, I haven't, so it'll be a first time. Yeah, man. It's pretty flat. Yeah. They got one little hill. But um, yeah. So more on that, how did how did that work out? Did he already have beats that he wanted you to rap on? Did he send you like a package and you got the pick? So yeah, he sent me a cassette. After, after he got the demo and was like, yo, this is dope, 
um, I'm gonna send you some beats. Uh -huh. He sent me a cassette with a, a bunch of beats on it, probably like 60 minute cassette, was filled right. with different tracks. Um, I found a bunch of different joints that I like. And um, yeah, man, um, and I started writing. And uh, rather than record roughs of them, what I did was I recorded, um, I know I wrote them, uh -huh. typed up what I had, yeah. and let them read the lyrics and stuff. And then he had somebody, um, which I later found out was verbal from M-Flow, um, you know, who's a legendary artist as yeah. well. This dude's a literal pop star in Japan. <laughs> um, but yeah, he had him in the studio read over the lyrics and he was like, nah, man, this guy's dope. He co-signed what I wrote to his beats. Yeah. And so, yeah, man, so after that, you know, like um, he, he made the arrangements to fly me out there. Wow. And then we went to work, you know. You couldn't do it uh, virtually? Nah, this wasn't, it wasn't that we couldn't, <laughs> Yeah. but who, who doesn't want to go to Japan right, to do anything? for sure, for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm That's saying? Awesome. So, so, so what yeah. was the first song that you did, did? Do you remember which one was the first, first song? First song we recorded is track two on my debut album, um, which is, uh, yep, To This Union, A Son Was Born. So the uh, track two of that album is called Subject. I ain't feeling you, why would I care if you ain't feeling me? Come back and learn the difference between a metaphor and a simile. You know, it's crazy because I remember when they picked me up from the airport. Um, you know, he wanted to hear. Well, he played some of the beats that I wrote to in the car, and he was with. Uh, rest in peace to the home. Rest in peace to both of them. Rest in peace to uh, Mona Rissick, who later went by DJ Dextreme. So, um, so they were in the whip with us, and he basically uh, played the beats, and I already had the rhyme, so I started uh -huh. spitting in the car. Yeah. <laughs> they were going ape shit, like, oh, you know, they were going crazy. That's awesome. So, so yeah, so after that, we, um, I want to say the next, <laughs> uh oh, the next, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, sorry. Left. God damn it. All right. <laughs> well, angry there. Right? What can he do? Right. <laughs> so anyway, basically what ended up happening, yo, that was hilarious, yo. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh out because I was like, yo, you sound mad, mad. You know what I mean? Or not you have a he stroke didn't even, out like, here? He, he should have a bell or something. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Because yeah. it's just like, he, he just acted like we knew he was there, right, fam. Right. I'm like. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so Substance was the first track we recorded. Okay. You know? And uh, I told you about who I listened to kind yeah. of growing up. Who did you look up to when you were oh, young? Oh, man. Woo. Uh, yeah. See? Yeah. Bell. That's perfect. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so um, I listened to, um, man, like I listened to so much, fam. Like, so some of the more, I'll, I'll just list who was most influential to me, who I listened to a lot. Okay. So uh, Common was a major influence of mine early on. Um, during my high school years, I listened Real to Real quick. Yeah. It was when you did that QN5 interview, uh -huh. was that the first time you met him? Or did you meet him before Oh, that? you talk, oh, the uh, Up and Up interview. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the first time, not the first time I saw him, but definitely the first time I met and talked to him. Okay. Yeah, for sure. That's cool. Yeah, man. Awesome. So, yeah. And everybody jokes. You see it in the comments. People was like, you can tell Substance was nervous. You know, had to ask the question. Uh, first question would be, uh, basically, first question would be, <laughs> it's like yo, it's a dude I had a lot of um, have a lot of respect for, and so um, uh -huh. so yeah, Common was very influential because like when I listened to him, he was a dude that was nice with the punchlines, but then he he could talk about like he was socially conscious as well. He could talk right. about stuff he saw in his environment, but I didn't feel like he was trying. Like I felt like he was from the hood, like me, uh -huh. but he wasn't trying to be a tough guy. Right, he wasn't right. trying to be something he wasn't. Yeah. And, and like, it's crazy because, yo, when you find out that Common, got somebody coming, when you find out that Common was a gangbanger, you're like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, but I feel like if, if the homies I was cool with back in the day, if any of them, the ones I really looked up to, if any of them was uh, basically in a gang and was like, fam, you should be in this gang with us, right. it'd have been a wrap. But uh -huh. like, they saw things in me that I didn't see in myself. And so they kept me out of certain shit. That's good. So yeah, so you know, so Common definitely. Um, Red Man is another one. All right, cool. Yeah, Red Man's another one. And we can go faster if you want. Yeah, I ain't know if you, yeah. But um, Red Man is another one. Uh, who else, man? Shit. 
Um, of course, like Pete Rock, CL Smooth, like sonically, like the sound that they made, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Definitely um, really spoke to me. Same thing with um, Gangstar. Yeah. Shit, man. So it's so many, fam. That's was, another I, person kind of like Common. I feel like was from the hood, but also tried to get like a better message out there. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. For people, you know. Because you know the the thing that I don't like sometimes, right? Yeah. I watch it too. Ah! It's the worst road ever. A little bad patch right there. But yeah, man, the thing that I I don't like that we do sometimes is sometimes people who from, you know, from the gutter, from, from where we're from, they try to act like it's all bad all the time, fam. Right, you know right. what I mean? Like it's one way and that's bullshit. Uh -huh. You know, like, yo, we celebrate, we have fun, and not every way we have fun and celebrate is always negative. Right. You know what I mean? So, right. and I mean, and that's from the hardest dudes I know to the, uh, to the chillest dudes I know. Like, folks do regular shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not always, <laughs> you know, on the, gotcha. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, but you know. Now, what about what about the newer generation? Sure. Do you? Is Do there anybody that stands out like a mainstream? Oh hell yeah. That you take? Hell yeah, uh, man. No inspiration from? I, um, what was it? I like. Uh, I really like Saba. Saba's really dope. Uh -huh. um, from Chicago. Um, I listen to a lot of Saba. I like. Uh, you know, he's not he's not a new artist at this point, but um, Cole Kendrick. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah. You know, the usual suspects. And then um, some other folks I like, I like uh, Mick Jenkins. Mick Jenkins is dope as shit. Uh -huh. um, who else? Uh, what's in the, oh, Jid. Yeah, Jid is fire as well, man. Um, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of young dudes I listen to, man. You know that, uh, I would say like mid thirties to like mid 20 um, rappers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, I like Corday, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's from here too. Yeah, oh, actually I know. went to the same high school that I went to. Oh, dope, yeah. dope. And That's IDK it. as well. I like IDK too, mm. who's from um, Landover. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, man, you know, I pay. I try to pay attention because right. me, because I came up as a battle MC, it's always important for me to keep my sword sharp. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? So yeah. like, even if I'm talking about socially conscious things or my or being, um, you know, reflective and, and talking about my own journey and what our people go through, uh -huh. I still try to make sure that you know, if I'm ever dealing with somebody who's like somebody who out of pocket and, and think because I talk all of this, you know, peace and love <laughs> shit that they can't get this right, work. Right. <laughs> you know it is, it's a fine line for sure. It's a yeah. Fine it's, line. it's like the dude who's the community actor, but, but still keep the strap. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> it's like, you know what I mean? It's That's like, funny. nah, you, you stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. So, <laughs> you know. How come uh, you did cut your dreads? Because they were uh, super long. Yeah, yeah. So, man, at that point in time in my life, I felt like I was, um, I felt like I was basically going through a change. Like, I remember why I started growing my hair, right? Right. Like, you know, um, certain cultures teach you that hair, like, keep certain energy, right? Yeah. And hold certain energy. And, um, and for some people, they choose to keep that energy with them on their journey. Uh -huh. And so for me, at the time, I started growing my hair, man. Like I was, shit, man. I, had, uh, I was couch surfing for a certain period of time, right? Like where I didn't have, yeah. Um, I didn't have my own place or whatever anymore, um, because of some some bullshit that had happened. Yeah. And I was just bouncing around, sleeping on my homies' floors or wherever they had space for me for like a couple couple months. And like, I remember how bad, and keep in mind, this was just after I signed with Nujabest. That was the wild shit. Like I just got a record deal, <laughs> uh -huh. but then, you know, I was fucked up in the game. I ain't had no place, right. place on my own really. And so, yo, but I wanted to remember, I wanted to remember all of that shit. I wanted something, something that was going to help me like channel all that energy and be a constant reminder when I look in the mirror, what I came from. Right. Um, and it's just like, it's one of those things where it was just like, you know, looking at what you've done in spite of all the bullshit you've gone through. Mm -hmm. But then I got to a point where it's like, I didn't necessarily feel like I had to um, hold on to bad things in order to be motivated to push forward. Right. Right. Like bad memory, using bad memories as a uh -huh. way to, or trauma I experienced in order to motivate me to move forward. Yeah. And so I felt like, you know, a great new beginning would be cutting my hair. So, you know, at that point, like, man, I would say my dreads were probably uh, maybe to my hips. Wow. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And I think they would have been longer than that, but I had cut, um, I had cut like two feet off of them at one point. 
you know, um, because I was literally tucking my hair in my pants by accident <laughs> and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's funny. But uh, but yeah, man, it was just um, time for new energy. I guess a lot of okay. people might. Thank you, bro. A lot of people find it probably difficult because I feel like you've reached you reached a high with Nujabes and. I think that some people can kind of have those situations where they do that and then they think, oh man, you know, I, I can't do anything better than this. This right. is the best that I'm going to have. Uh, did you ever have any problem with that or? No, because the no. funny thing is the new best stuff that I did, I mean, it definitely got burned when we first released it. Right. Uh -huh. But that was mostly in Japan. Right. 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 So, so when people see how like, you know, you occasionally meet the people who are like, oh, well, he's only known because he worked with New uh -huh. The funny thing is that stuff now gets a lot more burn, right? right, right. But I mean, hell, man, you know, my, my second album, when I dropped that, you know, we had multiple videos on MTV, VH1, mm -hmm. BT. After that album is when I did my first world tour, when I finally went somewhere other than Japan, uh -huh. you know what I mean? And so, like, I, you know, I saw a lot of success that some could ar would argue just from a business standpoint actually like far surpass what i did just with new best that's good but i think what ended up happening well not not think i know what ended up happening is he passed away yeah and so when he passed away his stuff became the stuff of legend mm -hmm. and so now conveniently everyone now sees that stuff as like the pinnacle of what right. i've done right when truthfully it's just like like you know we were talking earlier before we started filming about um, the stuff I did with Bentley Motors, uh -huh. you know, Ford Motors. I've done you all had these. The PUBG Mobile. Yeah, PUBG Mobile. All, all of these things. Like, there's a lot that I've done that some would argue is, you know, maybe bigger. Right. But of course, you know what I mean. Like, I know that a good amount of my my listeners are like they they mess with me because of New right. You know what I mean? Not necessarily because it was definitely of PUBG good Mobile. In, introductory, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, so yeah, man. So like, I'm appreciative of all of the opportunities right. I got. I'm super appreciative of the chance that New Best took on me and the investment he made into my career early on. Was it uh, was and, it hard when he passed? Like, how did that affect you? Um, I mean, more than anything, it was just, you know, because he was so young. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anytime yeah. you, you, you lose somebody who you don't, ex uh, who you expect to be around for a while, you know, that is always tough. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, man, but um, didn't slow you down, so that's huh? good. I said it didn't slow you down. No, so no, nah, because we literally we before he passed away, we had already finished recording the Bop Alloy debut album, uh -huh. and um, and we had just dropped the first singles right before he passed. Wow. And so in that album now, when you look at how many streams that album has, that that album has more streams than I, I want to say it has more streams than my debut album with Nujabes. You know, so like, so in terms of the success that I saw with that record, that's another example of it's like, but I also understand that a lot of people check that record because of what I did right. with Nujibus. Right. So, so of course, like they heard that sound and they, and they loved that. So, you know, but, um, but yeah, man, that, that was definitely, I'm definitely a, a dude that like when things start to get bad and you hard times happen and all of that, like I don't stop working, I work more. Right, right. You know, I feel like I, I'm kind of similar in that way too. You know, yeah. Helps get your mind off stuff. Helps yeah, you, for sure. You know, stay motivated, and then when you get love mm -hmm. from people, you're just like, oh yeah, you know, that's why I'm doing it. And because I mean, I just Sit make behind videos. us. Okay. But um, how did the uh, PUBG mobile thing come along? Yeah, man. Did they reach out to you. So yeah, so what? Well, so shout out to my guy uh, Mason Lieberman. He connected me with this company a while back that um, that basically um, they were looking for rappers to rap on certain tracks that they were creating for video games. Uh huh. And uh, whoops, not bad. Yep, got you. Go ahead. And basically, um, they reached out to him. He recommended me. They heard some stuff I I, I did um, and was became familiar with me. And after that, they asked me to uh, first write um, some lyrics and record a verse for this other song. Oh, sorry about that. All right. 
Yeah, so they basically, um, first this company, um, it was a company called Hex, uh, Hexany. They hit me up to do something um, for a game called Ark Knights, right? Yeah. And then later on, like when they, they get hit up by different video games to do uh -huh. different songs. And so I did a couple things for Ark Knights and then the opportunity came to do something with PUBG Mobile. And so I did the thing with them. Um, so when, they, when you do that sort of stuff, do they yeah. kind of already have a vision or do you come up with most of the lyrics yourself? So most of the lyrics are me, but like, of course, there's certain stipulations, right? Yeah, like like if you play this. PUBG Mobile, then you know about the whole winner, winner, chicken dinner right, thing. Right, right. So like there's certain things that I probably wouldn't say in a verse, you know uh -huh. what I mean? But yeah. because of the client, you know, right. you, you got to meet certain um, needs that they have and stuff with their base. Well, that's cool. At least they give you, you know, some freedom. Yeah, did for sure. Did you play the game before you did that to kind of... No, but I was very familiar with it because oh, okay. I knew that it was like Fortnite before Fortnite. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, so... So yeah, so when I when I saw it, my daughter's a gamer too. So we both were like, I recognized that and I showed it to her. She was like, PUBG Mobile was kind of like the original Fortnite. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so as soon as she said that, it clicked. And I'm like, oh shit, I knew I seen this before. Cause it used to be everywhere until Fortnite dropped. Right. You know? Yeah, so that was really cool, man. And um, and then they hit me up a second time to uh work on um what's it called? Um I ended up doing a song with them. Uh, their collaboration with, um, oh, what's the shit called? They had a collaboration with uh, Tesla. Uh -huh. So they asked me to write the song that was like the theme song for that too, you know? I did a, a big brother named Clay is the singer on that, I forget his last name. Woo! Watch yourself, watch yourself. These damn pieces of wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even know about the wood back here, that's crazy. No, nah, I've never been this far, so it's kind of Yeah, cool. this is my first time too. Who, uh, who introduced you to the one wheel? Uh, my man Javier Starks, man. There you he know. is. Yeah, Thank the, you. The Shout one out wheel Javier. wing. Shout out to Hob. Go check out the video I did with him. He let me ride his one wheel. Yeah, He's man. He's been helping us watch out for bikers this whole time. Absolutely. So. Definitely Super been shout saving out. the day. <laughs> you know? You know, look, that old guy might have put he might have put the paws on me if Hob wasn't here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 the way he, <laughs> oh, <you're not. laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, my God, yo. Shit was both funny and not funny. Right. <laughs> um, uh, you have any questions for me? Yeah, man, for sure. So, so. Let me uh, see where we're at real quick. Hold on. Yeah, no doubt. 23. Yeah, we got time. Okay, cool. So my, my first question is like, I mean, I, I knew that you, I was curious how you kind of found me, right? Like, yeah. uh, so in the beginning you were saying how you were listening to my music. Yeah. And then I saw you stumble on my, uh, I think you hit my YouTube channel first before you hit my IG. Yeah. And I'll tell so, you why I did that. Cause yeah, for sure. You got less comments on there, so I thought you'd see it faster. Ah, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, but, I um, definitely get way more. I get hit up way more on IG. Yeah, so I thought I might have got lost in the feed. Right, right, <laughs> right. But um, yeah. I, so like I said, I listened to you for a long time, and um, you know, along the way, you just don't download all your music or whatever, and yeah. stuff gets lost. Right. And I was going through an old drive recently and I found my whole old music folder. I was like, oh man, wow. why did I ever stop listening to Nujabes? Why did I stop listening to this and that? Right, right, right. And so I downloaded it all again and then I was just listening to it when I was skating one day. And I remember that there'd be some songs where you drop bars saying that you're from DMV and yeah. that stuff. But at the time I didn't really know because I lived in Vegas. Right, like right, right, so, right. So when I heard it again, I'm like, oh man, that's right. He he is from out here. Right. And just on a on a whim, I was like, man, let me just see what he's up to. So I typed it in on YouTube, mm -hmm. saw you riding the one wheel. That's the first video I saw. And I'm like, oh, wow. man, that'd be cool to go ride with him, you know? Yeah, and that's dope. Kind of figured that you might because you're just a humble person. Right, right, and right. And I don't know. So just worked out, I guess. Yeah, man. No, that's super dope, man. Now, I appreciate you for reaching out. Of course. The funny thing is we had just talked, Hob and I just talked because his, uh, his uh, birthday had passed. Uh-huh. And uh, he came through, dropped off some goodies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like I'm supposed to be seeing him dropping off stuff on his birthday. <laughs> show you what type of dude he is. He coming through, blessing us with gifts. Right. And right. so yeah, man. So he dropped off some some good food. And then we were talking. He was asking me when I rode last, and I was like, I was just saying like a week or two ago that I hadn't ridden in a while. And so uh, so when you reached out, it was kind of a no brainer. I was like, hey right. man, I've been looking to, for a reason to ride. That's perfect. You know. And so. Um, so yeah, so I know we talked off camera a bit, but how, how long you um, you said you've been riding? What eight years, right? Yeah, camera. around around eight years or so. Okay. I rode when I was in middle school back yeah. when I lived in Vegas, and uh, 
I just stopped, you know, my friend that I used to skate with, he moved away. Yeah. And uh, I just kind of fell out of it. And then one day I was just like, man, you know, I love skating. I should buy a pair of skates again. So I bought them about eight years ago. Uh -huh. And man, you can't get me off these things now. Right. You know? <laughs> I just love it. And I make videos for a living. So. Oh, dope, man. I was like, man, might as well just make little content, you know, whenever yeah. I travel anywhere. So. So when you're not making the skating videos, what type of videos are you usually editing for a living? Uh, I do freelance work, and I also work at a college down, ah, dope, down dope. where I live. What college is that? If you don't mind sharing. I'm, uh, yeah, on, no, that's fine. Uh, Co college of Southern Maryland. Ah, OK, dope, dope, dope. And so, yeah, I, I do music videos, weddings, anything oh, that's you name up. it. That's I, just... I have a couple clients that work in DC. I used to work in a theater mm, for a okay. while, so I you know, film plays and stuff like that too that's what's up dance man. recitals and stuff that's dope that's yeah. dope man so if you ever need a music video hey <laughs> uh, hey you, listen when you said that i was like i mean <laughs> now my area i'm used to filming more kind of trap music yeah 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 i can kind of adapt it's all yeah. good man and oh one more ahead. thing sure, sure jeremy hunter do you know who that is jeremy hunter i definitely know that name you yeah follow him on instagram yeah he's, he's a actually, musician right yeah he's a musician he, he raps um He's based in D.C. Yep. And I've known him for, I don't know how many, probably nine, yeah. ten years, something like that. I feel like I just, I feel like we consulted him for his music. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, does he play an instrument as well? No. No? Well, okay. actually, I think he might, he makes his, his own beats and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. I'll show you after we get done. But um, Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I, I definitely know that name. Him, you know? I feel like, I, feel, uh, I might be mixing him with somebody else, but uh -huh. I definitely know that name. But I'll show you a video that I did for him. Okay. And some other stuff. But yeah, I just thought it was funny. That's what's up. That we man. both followed him. He actually was the one who got me the job at the theater uh, <laughs> in nice. the first place. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> when I worked there. Shout out to Jeremy. Because he's an actor. Ah, okay, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did he do did he do a, a album that was dealing with food or something like yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. That, yes, I knew it, I knew it. So yeah, man, we consulted him. Yeah, we that absolutely was, that consulted called, him. Uh, uh, I forget the gourmet name Gourmet or some shit? Yeah, um, I was actually gonna do some music for, videos for him, um, but it just didn't end up working out. Oh yeah, man, tell, tell him I said peace, man. Yeah, like definitely, definitely. I, I, mean, I like what he Instagram was doing. he'll see the Instagram post and be like, what? He yeah. linked up with substantial dang. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, he was cool as hell when I spoke to him, man. That's funny. Yeah, but as soon as you say actor, I was like, all right, good looking. But yeah, man, I, I got that's all I got for you. All right, appreciate it, For the it, rest man. of the time, we could just skate and chill. Hell yeah. Now, I appreciate the invite, man. Yeah, of course. Definitely good times. So everybody, if you want to see more, hear more, please check out his YouTube channel. Um, it'll be all linked in the description. He does great content, great music, so Appreciate you can't go it. wrong. Check oh, it I'm out. Gonna put, I'm going to put you on the spot real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because you said you was a fan. Which, uh, what was it, favorite song? What, Think Different. Think Different? Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up, Or man. Eclipse. I like Eclipse, too. Word. That's love, man. Appreciate it. More, more chill, relaxed. Yeah, song, yeah. You know? No doubt, man. But, yeah, thank you again. And Thanks for having me. We'll probably do more in the future. Yes, indeed. All right, All right. guys. Thanks for watching. Peace, Peace out. Don't forget to ring that notification bell.